Alléluia. Alléluia. Amen. God is good. Healing is our bread. Amen. It doesn't matter how imperfect we are before you, Father. It doesn't matter if we have been lazy to pray. Healing is our bread. Because we are your children. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what the enemy has made of the body of Christ. My Father, I'm begging you, give us this day our daily bread. Give us that healing. When you heal us, we shall be healed. When you save us, we shall be saved. Hallelujah. And so Jesus began to say in John chapter 6, verse 32, Then said Jesus unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Verse 35, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to uh, go quickly. Verse 48. I am that bread of life. Hallelujah. Verse 51. 50. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. We're going to apply that word literally today. Yeah. And Jesus is our bread of life. And we're going to eat him and we shall not die. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to eat him as we partake in a communion today. It is, to, it is to partake unto life. It is to cast the spirit of death and hell. Hallelujah. I am the living bread, verse 51, which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. Hallelujah. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Verse 53, verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I'll raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead, he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Lord, we take you at your word. Amen. That this is your flesh and this is your blood because you left us the holy communion to represent your death and resurrection for us. And every time we come to the communion table, we remember that you died for us. We remember that this is your flesh. We remember that this is your blood. Literally. We remember that as we partake today, we shall not die. Physically, we shall not die. Emotionally, we shall not die. Spiritually, we shall not die. Financially, maritally, we shall not die. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, because you are the resurrection and the life. You have said it clearly that this is your bread. Your, your, this is the bread that God the Father has given from heaven. Even you, Lord your broken body and your shed blood. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. I want us to stretch forth our hands with that scripture in mind. Hallelujah. And begin to pray in tongues. This is the flesh of the Lord. This is his, his blood. Hallelujah. Says I am that bread of life. 
Hallelujah. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, if any man partake of this communion today, he shall live forever. The bread that I will give is my flesh. This is the flesh of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we shall give for the life of the world. Hallelujah. He says, I said we eat his, this, the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. We have no life in us. Lord, we, we choose to eat your flesh today and drink this, your precious blood. Lord, I give you praise. Your word is literal. Your word is true. This is your flesh. Hallelujah. And this is your blood. I decree by decree of heaven that as we eat this flesh today and drink this blood, we have eternal life. The Lord will raise us up on the last day. And even as we are living here, nothing shall harm us, nothing shall destroy us in the mighty name of Jesus. For his flesh is meat indeed to us, and his blood is drink indeed for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Even as we have prayed for consecration today, your word says, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him are, as the living Father has sent me. And I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. My Father, my God, we have asked you to consecrate us to rededicate our lives so that we can be effective in prayers with you. Hallelujah. And as we partake in the communion today, even those who are partaking online, oh Lord, consecrate every one of us. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That, Lord, we might dwell in you and you dwell in us. As the living Father has sent you, Lord, I pray that we live by the Father and we live by you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, omnipotent God. We seal this table with the blood of the Lamb. Father, we thank you for blessing this table. Thank you for the testimonies of healing, the testimonies of deliverance, the testimonies of personal consecration that will come forth of this Holy Communion service today. I pray for everyone that is taking communion at home that the same blessing that you release right now will be theirs in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, omnipotent God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, pastors. And this is the bread that sets me free. Free from all infirmities, his body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. And this is the blood that sets me free, free for all eternity. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. And this is the blood that sets me free, free from all infirmities. His body was broken, his blood was shed to make me a child of God. His body. Four and five. Hallelujah. 
verses 4 and 5. Let's read it together. And those of us at home, let's read. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. O oh Lord, all those transgressions we praised against today, the laziness, carnality, lack of consecration, lack of seriousness, we were wounded for them. And as we have called on you today, we thank you because they, they will no longer be part of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you were bruised for all our iniquities. We thank you because for us to have peace, to have joy, to move away from mourning and sorrow, you, the chastisement, the punishment was placed upon you, Lord, and with your stripes we are healed. It does not matter how many infirmities are there, whether it be coronavirus, hypertension, cancer, headache, stomachache, ulcer, whatever may be the name of these infirmities, this your shed blood has freed us from all those infirmities. Lord, we pray for anybody suffering from even the side effects of coronavirus, the Lord, those side effects be wiped out with the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what we hear that people have organs that may be damaged because they have been hit by COVID-19. Father, we pray that every such person, whether they be in the body of Christ or outside the body of Christ, that Lord, they, that, 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 that you will give them organ replacement in the mighty name of Jesus. New lungs, new pair of lungs, new hearts, new eyes if they need to. Anything that the enemy has touched in their body, we know you have this pair. Lord, replace it in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you for healing the nations. Thank you, Lord, that you heal the nations spiritually, emotionally, physically, Psychologically, financially, oh Lord, the Bakorike Zentum. Those nations that are being hit by fire and flood, heal them in the name of Jesus. Save them, Father. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on us here also, also oh Lord. You showed me that the rainy season will set in on time. Abba, Father, as you have shown, let it be so. But let there be no flood, Father, in the name of Jesus. From year to year, you have been faithful to us in this nation. Abba, Father, let there be no flooding. Let your name be glorified. We thank you, Lord, that coronavirus that is ravaging the nations, trying to kill people, is destroyed by this precious blood of the Lamb. We bind the spirit behind it. We rebuke it. We command the devil to lose his hold on the nations of the earth. Oh, Lord, let your precious blood take over. Let your blood flow in the heavens over every nation, in every home, in every family, in every church, in every community. Let your mercy prevail. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us eat and drink together in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the world pass on Lord from thy river outside which flow. We have seen. Labors of our hands can 
Lord. We know realistically at this time, people are dying in their nations. Rock of ages cleft for them. As they cry unto you, Lord, hear them. Have mercy on them. As many as ordained to leave this planet Earth in these times of trials, Abba, Father, I pray that they will not die and go to hell. And Lord, they will cry unto you and you will save them in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Asher, can you please take the offering? Rock of ages cleft for us. Let me hold my soul. today. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. believe uh, that's just what we need in these trying times. One, we need to, to boost your immune. Amen. And by doing so is when you are praying in tongues. Hallelujah. Amen. Now for our offering, we just want us to look at the book of Acts chapter 9. And we will read from verse 36 to the end. Now there was a Joppa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. And for as much as Leda was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed, and turning him to their bodies, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, presented her to her life. And it came to pass, and it, and it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a very interesting story of Dorcas, who was a disciple of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
And the Bible says that Dorcas was full of good deeds. Hallelujah. Not only did she, was she a follower of Jesus Christ, but then she was somebody who was giving to all those who are in need. Hallelujah. The widows, she took care of them, and anybody who came to her with a need, she provided. Praise the Lord. And now, it, the Bible says that it came to um, a time when she died, and her giving have touched many people. Hallelujah. Uh, to a point that they could not accept that she could live um, so early. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, thank God, Peter was not far away, and they sent uh, two people to go and fetch them to come and just pray. They believed that, you know, um, when they pray, this woman can come to life. Hallelujah. But if you look at the prayer they have prayed, and what this person have done, it was just by giving. It's somebody who was giving. Hallelujah. Good deeds. That even when you give, your giving, you know, <laughs> can make God to answer prayer. No matter what prayer you are praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to know that your giving is not just an ordinary giving. As you are giving to the house of God, you are also giving to the poor. Amen. Because many people come here and they are in need. And we know that these are trying times. You know, and normally it's hard to go and knock at people's doors. So what people do, they go to the house of God. Amen. And it's always good when there is meat in the house of God that the people of God are provided for. So we see that the resurrection power came to Dorcas just because of giving. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray for our offering. And as you are praying, we are also going to pray that whatever is dead must come alive. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us just take our offering. Hallelujah. Risha prasike kete bobo bobo sata tabra sinte rike kebobo bobo santo. Nothing must die around us. Reba she prosite re bobo bobo sate te prosanto. Rike kebobo bobo she prosaka kebobo bobo sate te te prosente. Rike kebobo bobo she prosanto rike bobo bobo she prosaka kebobo bobo sate. Reba koko bobo bobo she prosaka kebobo bobo sate. The resurrection power as we are giving today, let it come upon our lives. Rishe prosanto, let it come in our families. Rishe prosaka baba baba sinto, rike ke baba baba santo, rike ke baba baba she prosanto. We invoke the resurrection power upon this nation. Ripa se tiri baba baba santo, ripa she prosanto, rapa kaka baba baba tete tete prosike ke baba baba sinte, ripa baba she prosaka baba baba sate tete prosente, rika ke baba baba she ke ke prosaka baba baba siata. Roko kotele bobo bobo she prosike ke bobo bobo santo. Even those who are giving online, reshe prosanto. Those e wallets, Father, that the resurrection power locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing must die in our in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Reshe prosanto bobo bobo tete tete prosaka bobo bobo santo. Nothing must kill them in the name of Jesus. Reshe prosaka bobo bobo tete tete prosanto. Reke ke tere bobo she prosaka bobo bobo santo. Reshe prosike ke bobo bobo santo. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I can see everything standing around. I can see everything is standing around. I can see 
appreciate your God for the great love of showing to your people, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, in this difficult time, O oh Lord, that you are there, O oh Lord, with us. My Father, my God, Lord, we just want to appreciate you, my Father, my God, because, Lord, you have promised that you will not leave us, neither will you forsake us. We thank you for the great assurance in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to give to your house, O oh Lord. We know that, Father, we are blessed when you give to your house, O oh God. Father, it's our prayers. We lift up, O oh Lord, this offering unto you, Lord, this morning or this day. That, Father, let the resurrection power locate your people, my Father, my God. Whatever the enemy has killed around them, Lord, let it be resurrected right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, because, Lord, we will not lose this battle. Whatever the enemy is raging, O oh Lord, Father, will emerge victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, speak life, O Lord, into everyone's finances in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God. We soak this offering in the precious blood of Jesus. Let there be signs and wonders in the lives of your people, O God, because of the resurrection power. In the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just share the grace. Surely, goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.